So at this point, I think it's safe to say that the comedy pretty much writes itself, ladies and gentlemen. It's become a joke. The whole Bud Light disaster was a joke, and Bud Light is a story I haven't touched on in a little while just because there really hasn't been too much going on aside from the obvious sales continue to drop, stocks continue to plummet. It's a, it's a disaster. Like That's what Bud Light is. It's a disaster. But the funny thing and the comedy in this entire situation is apparently that Dylan Mulvaney just recently posted an ad looking for work after Bud Light's debacle. Yes, Dylan Mulvaney is essentially begging for work because nobody wants to partner with him anymore after what he did to an entire company that he lost them billions upon billions of dollars in market cap and he lost them tens of millions of dollars in sales. It is an absolute disaster that nobody wants to be a part of and they are basically shunning Dylan Mulvaney. So we're going to get into this article, guys, from Outkick. But of course, before we do, just consider giving this video a like to push us out into the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're on our way to 25,000 subscribers. So it says, looking for a great guest speaker this fall? Everyone's favorite Bud Light spokesperson, Dylan Mulvaney, is fielding calls. Fresh off his escape to Peru, Mulvaney took to Instagram this week to announce to the world that he was looking for work, specifically around college campuses, Bud Light keg party, booking speaking opportunities for the upcoming 23-24 school year, and would love to come visit, he announced to his 2 million followers via his Instagram story. Why is this, why is Outkick all of a sudden uh, using her pronouns for Dylan Mulvaney? I don't remember Outkick doing that prior, so I don't know why they're doing this now, but of course, you know, your boy Hypnotic is going to always correct articles whenever they do nonsense like this, and this is why nothing will ever change. Whenever you have articles in companies like this that start off going against the grain, and then all of a sudden they want to now bend the knee and say, uh, her pronouns at the very least you can just say they you know, can keep it neutral because you kind of want to you know walk the fine line and don't necessarily want to get yourself banned or anything but it's your own website so i don't understand why you're censoring yourself but again here we are so it says love ya he continued while also including an email address for serious inquiries only man it must be really really hard for dylan mulvaney right now and you know what dylan mulvaney only has himself to blame he's the only reason why he's in this position in the first place dylan mulvaney is out of work right now because dylan mulvaney screwed over a major corporate Corporation. And let's be real, ladies and gentlemen, it's not necessarily his fault because at the end of the day, he's just grifting, right? He's trying to make as much money as possible off of the situation. So he's going to grift and grift and continue to grift until it uh, dries up and then he's going to continue and move on. It is Bud Light's fault. It is Anheuser Bush's fault. It's Alyssa Hernerscheid's fault for partnering with someone who is a pure grifter. It is their fault. So anything that happens after the fact is because of their decision, not his. He's just trying to make as much money as he possibly can off of a movement that is easily capitalized on. So it says, uh, sounds like a great opportunity for any college out there to make a splash this fall, huh? Obviously, it sounds insane that any university would oblige, but I can almost guarantee you that one will. At least one. Frankly, I'd be shocked if multiple don't come knocking. After all, college classrooms have turned into one giant liberal microphone at this point. I live in a college town, so trust me on this one. It's kind of hard to take the writer of this article serious, though, considering that he's using she, her pronouns for Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, I, I kind of find it hard for you to say that, oh, you know you're surrounded by wokeness and you hate it but meanwhile you are literally bending the knee to it it just kind of it kind of seems a little strange to me so it says anyway i guess dylan mulvaney feels safe yet again in the united states good to know that peru trip must have done wonders as for bud light i'm afraid that the boat might have already sailed sales of the once popular brew have slumped to future levels for the fourth straight month and experts feel the fall won't be much better every single social media post from the embattled brew is torn to shreds along with every ad commercial and publicity stunt even mulvaney has turned his back on the beer, lashing out at Anheuser-Busch a few weeks ago for not supporting him enough during these troubling times. Hopefully he finds some comfort on the quad, though. If I know college campuses in this country, I'm sure he will. I feel like this article was purposefully written with as many she, her pronouns as possible. I really do. I just, I don't understand why all of a sudden Outkick is doing that. So that's going to be a major criticism for me, Outkick deciding to uh, bend the knee and use she, her pronouns for someone who is obviously faking it and grifting it. But to go off of the whole dilemma, 
Mulvaney debacle? Yes, I do agree. There is going to be many college campuses that are going to reach out to Dylan. That is 100% going to happen, I promise you. Like, it is a woke liberal hive mind in most of, of college campuses, okay? That's the reason why we have such an issue in the first place, because the woke realizes that in order to take over the country, they need to go after the young people, right? So they went after colleges, then they started going after kids and going after elementary schools, and that's why they focus so hard on trying to take over the mind of kids, because if you can get them young, then essentially you're going to have yourself a follower for life, or in this case, a victim for life, because that's usually how they end up once they become a patient for life, taking hormones and getting surgeries and all this other nonsense that they're convincing kids to do. So ultimately, at the end of the day, Dylan Mulvaney is out there begging for work. I found it to be uh, hilarious that this is a thing. But again, I can't say that I'm surprised that it's actually happening because Dylan Mulvaney should have seen it coming after the fallout. And yeah, listen, he's got a lot of money, okay? He's definitely got a lot of money. He's probably got more than enough money to live on. But why would the man want to stop? He made so much money grifting off of a movement. Why would he want to stop? So of course, he's not going to try to let it dry up very easily. He's going to fight the good fight and try to grift as much as he possibly can before he eventually goes back to just being a gay man. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.